sense of security. It almost never fits well. The weight of the headgear gets heavier as someone starts to sweat. You can still knock people out. Headgear has nothing to do with whether you're going to knock somebody cold or something. Becky Zorlantis was in the Colorado Golden Gloves last Saturday in Denver when she was knocked down and unconscious by a right hand in the third round. The coroner's office said, uh, has ruled that her death was uh, caused by blunt force trauma. And so when you take a young boy whose neck isn't real strong and you put an extra 10 ounces on it, I don't know. That, uh, I'm not sure that's a real good thing or not. Now, it doesn't matter how big the head guard is. In fact, the bigger the head guard, the bigger the lever. So if you stick cutting out on the end of the chin, your chin is actually out here. So the lever with which you're going to turn the head is made longer. So head guards potentially predispose to knockouts rather than prevent.